Is there a link between consciousness and energy? What is consciousness and what is energy in your opinion? Mind? Okay. Yes. Yes. The energy is moving. Moving. Yes. True. True. I think I guess it's the integration of body and mind. Yes. And awareness. Yes. 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 Energy is something you feel physical. Mm-hmm. The two. Mind and physical being. And consciousness is one of the positive. Um, mentality, more mental things. Yes. Yes. Spirit stuff. Yes. We want to talk about the belief. Yes. Yes. Well, true, true. So I'll just tell you a story. Yes. Okay. I like stories. The story goes that once there was a blind man. He couldn't see, but he was very strong. He was blind. And then there was a man who was lame. His legs were not working, but he could see, think, hear, do everything. Now both were very good friends. One fine day they heard the news that there's a fair in the village. So there's a festival and both of them wanted to go to the festival. The blind couldn't go because he couldn't see. The lame couldn't go because he couldn't walk. Now in those days there were no support systems, no uh, wheelchairs or, or, or blind support systems in that point of time. So both of them sat down and decided how shall we reach the fair. Can you think how would they reach? Can they collaborate and reach? Can they? Can they help each other go? Yes. How? What? <laughs> uh, the guy can carry, uh, carry the Yes, yeah. the lame. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> so the lame can sit on the shoulders of the blind and both of them can reach yes. the fair. So similarly, <laughs> these are the two things or two aspects of entire creation that we have. One is a, is a passive force, which is very powerful, which creates everything. But there is no, no direction in it. And on the other hand, there is a force of knowledge or knowingness. That force of knowledge or knowingness knows everything, but can't do anything. And in ancient texts, in, in some of the Eastern traditions, these have been explained as two forces that comprise not only us. Similarly, these two forces of consciousness and energy permeate us. One is the knowingness and other is the doingness or ability to do. Einstein came very close to this conclusion. He said, even in the field of quantum physics, they said, each, each aspect of creation is nothing but made up of atoms. Yes, we are all made up of atoms. Yes, molecules, muscles, all atoms. And each atom in turn is made up of protons, electrons, neutrons. And now they find that protons, electrons, neutrons are not the final building blocks. They are themselves made up of smaller particles and they are named differently. And now they're saying even those are composed of smaller particles. And now there comes a scientist who says, well, they're actually not particles, they're actually waves. And in, in, in physics, we, we, you must have, if you have studied it, you must have seen that light is neither a particle nor a wave. What we are composed of is neither a particle nor a wave, something, just a vibration at the subtlest, the smallest level. And that creates each and every atom in our being 
and each atom, then the atoms join together, they create molecules, molecules join to create, they create proteins, carbohydrates, and that's what we are composed of. So if we deduct and go down to the smallest level of what, who we are, we are nothing but just a vibration, a collection of vibrations. But does it mean that all these vibrations are randomly put together? So we are just a creation of a random chance? When a child grows from a small embryo, the child can become anything or everything, right? But it just doesn't become a, a giraffe or a gorilla or a mouse, right? It becomes a human being because of some information which is coded somewhere. 